Greetings all frog here, let's play GeoGuess Rebid Challenge today by Sagittarius. This is a Mexico challenge hitting five of the six provinces I have not yet visited in Mexico. There are quite a number, I say provinces, they're states, they're Mexican states. There's quite a number of states that I have not visited yet in Mexico. Well, I mean, sorry, there's quite a number of states in Mexico, six of which I have not visited. I don't know how many there are, there's a lot of them. But the six I haven't visited are Aguascalientes, which is north of um, Jalisco, it's very small. Uh, Colima, which is on the west coast south of Jalisco. Uh, Guanajuato, which is northwest of Mexico City. Um, west of uh, uh, Cuaritero, <coughs> right? I think so. And then Hidalgo, which is northeast of Mexico City. Tabasco, which is north of Chiapa over by the Yucatan Peninsula. And then Tlaxcala, which is east of Mexico City. So these are the places I'm going to be looking as we do our challenge. It's a bridge. Over troubled waters. It's not probably over troubled waters. So how do I figure out where this is? Because I didn't bother looking at where any of the bodies of water were. All right. Anyway, carry on. Time limits? No time limits. Very good. It's in Mexico. Pantanos de Centla. In 250 meters. Reserva de la Biosfera. Pantanos. De Centla. What's the name of the river? Is this little sign the name of the river? Well, it's full of graffiti. Prohibido! Don't go in there. The graffiti artists say, screw you, we're going in there. Uh, we're on the Mexico 180. So that's good. We are west of Frontera, north of Hunat of Honuta. All right. Going higher. Find the 180 for me. Is it Tabasco? It is in Tabasco. All right. Now we just have to find the giant body of water we just crossed. Probably. The Rio La Pigua, but it certainly isn't there that we crossed it. So maybe not. Where'd the 180 go? We lost it. There it is. It's going this way now. Hmm, this seems much more likely. We were on a two-lane bridge, were we not? Is this still Tabasco? This is still Tabasco. It's Veracruz on the other side, though. Again, we crossed a two-lane bridge, not a one-lane bridge. I suppose we could look for Frontera. There's Frontera. Perhaps this was the uh, Grijalva River. Benito Juarez Garcia Road. This is a nature reserve of some sort. It is indeed Reserva de la Biosfera Pentanos de Centla. You would think it definitely wasn't this. All right, that was correct. Five thousand points. All right, Tabasco, you're off the list. So now we know we're, we're focusing around Mexico City or Jalisco. I did like that. It was a nice location. Now we're on a causeway <clears throat> with trains. A warning of some sort? Utilize! Academiento solo para emergencias. No stopping, except for emergencies, maybe? Well, there's giant signs this way, so let's go read some giant signs, shall we? I appreciate giant signs. Carretera, Campos Almeida Puntos Grande, Viaducto de 847.3, Mira de Longitude. Carretera. Okay, don't know what that means. And that's all blurry. Fix your cars, man. Get a better camera. We're gonna go this way because there's a bunch of houses this way too. Plus there's a giant bridge. I like giant bridges. This 
is a serious bridge. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. We're immediately underneath it. Gobierno de la República, Estados Unidos Mexicanos, Mover Mexico, Queretaro. Uh, okay. So we need to be in Guanalto, which doesn't have a lot of water. Colima has a lot of water. Agos Calientes, <laughs> despite its name, does not have a lot of water. Maybe there's like springs, hot steams or something. Kalima has a ton of water. Does it have a causeway and a giant bridge? Not really. <clears throat> Hidalgo is here, which doesn't have a ton of water. Does it go to the coast? It does not. Does Tlaxcala do that though? Why do I not see Tuscala anywhere? Let's zoom in on this border. What are these two states? Veracruz. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. I just saw it. I just saw it. There it is. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. That's just east of Mexico City. Okay, so I don't know. I have no idea where we are. This is not clear. The water is to our south, though. So, I mean... The heck is this court? Oh, it's basketball. I, th I thought like they were trying to score into that thing for a second. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Carry on. Precaución, Gordo Peregrosa. It was very, very Italian there for a second. Sorry. Gordo Peregrosa, eh? Hey, gracias. All right, so we're no longer on the highway. Oh, Adriana, how nice. I want to go back towards the city. Okay, no, now we're back up on this thing. Publiactiva Maps Turistico Manzanillo. Mm. You can make up your mind, man. Am I on the highway or am I not on the highway? Manzanillo Temo Electric Campos. Okay. I don't know what Manzanillo means. Is that a place or is it a thermoelectrical plant? Now let's see if there's Manzanillo somewhere in Grima. There is indeed, okay. Oh, here we go. We're in this thing. Yep. Absolutely, we were on this thing. I don't know how far, but I'm not, I'm not gonna be that picky about it. I'm not trying to get a perfect score here. I'm just trying to get the places. Yeah, two points off the video. That was cool. I liked it. Ooh, it's a night location. Jorge Perez. Oh, I should probably check that off. Galima. Check. What's going on over here? Are we watching something? Looks like maybe they're singing? I don't really know what's going on over there. There's a, a cathedral of some sort. It's very lovely. I like how it's lit up as well. There's a park. GTO. I think that sounds for Guanalto. Let's see. What's the biggest city? Leon is in Guanalto. 
Is there a park with the cathedral? There's a cathedral. And a park. Not really looking at it from the right direction of the park, though. Yeah, that does not look right. Well... If we were in here, mm -hmm. surprised. I think I'd see more churches than I do. We were in Guanalto. We were just in San Miguel de Allende. Outside uh, the parroquia de San Miguel Arcandel. Parroquia. I'm not rolling my R's. Deal with it. Alright, well, that's cool. Guanalto. <clears throat> Three more. The other one is going to be in another one of his world challenges. So I guess if I ever figure out him in Mexico, I, I know which one it's going to be. Then all bets are off. Okay. We're in the mountains. Which means we're around Mexico City. So I guess that, that uh, takes out um, Aguas Calientes, probably. Consultario Medico Jesus de Nazareth. Medicina General. De Alfredo Ortiz Robelas. Actually, it, it would be General because it's an E, right? I remember the hard, soft G rules. It gets me confused sometimes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, go back. That license plate was actually visible. Can we learn things from license plates in Mexico? HR08119. Is HR like Hidalgo something? I don't know. This license plate is unblurred. LWU19-40. So no, we can learn nothing from them. Nothing! Except that that probably is like says the province name or something. Let's see if we get another car here. No. Ah, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. But I'm not sure I want to go down this alley, but we'll do it. Centro Medico. Bordados. I need is to find the outskirts of the town so I can see the signage pointing me to the other town. Estudio Digital Reynoso. Uh, I guess we go this way? Well, this is Tlaxiaca. Maybe that's Tlaxcala. I don't like that. Puchuca sana Tlaxiaca in Cunquitlapilco. I don't know what that means.
Apparently we haven't met any doggo either. Right next to each other. San A, you know, like San, Saint somethings with the native full name here. Like that would be San A Metalauqualis. Trying to find this particular Sant A is not going to be easy. Yet, I'm trying to do it anyway. Doggo is a little bigger than I expected. Much more mountainous than the other regions. I don't see my man San A. Is Guntel Pilco. Doggo is huge. Tell you what, if it was on the screen, I sure didn't see it. Have we even gotten back to La Scala yet? Oh yeah, we had. Man. I think I'm in one of those two states, I just don't know for sure. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Municipo de Metztitlan. Okay, now we're gonna look for Metztitlan. Maxcala is very small. Which it doesn't do, but it really should. Alright, you know what? Let's go to Aguas Calientes. That doesn't look to be nearly mountainous. Yeah, that's not right. I don't see Metzitlan anywhere, though. Mexico, man, help a brother out. Definitely Metzitlan, I just don't know where the hell that is.
Carretera Estada Venados Metztitlan. El gobierno del estado reconstruye Hidalgo. So we're in Hidalgo. I, yeah, HGO. I just don't know where Metztitlan is. I'm like twisting my head in various ways to try and see Metztitlan. I guess at least we know where we need all go now. Um, I guess we just don't care. I mean, we care, but let's we'll put it up in the mountains here somewhere. And sort it out later why we can't see Mesut Lan. I have no idea why. It's, it certainly was at that zoom level. I just never saw it. That's yeah, fine. Oh, that was Hidalgo. So now we're either in Aguascaliente, uh, excuse me, Aguascalientes, or Tlaxcala. in Tlaxcala. So we'll be in Aguas Calientes in the uh, other challenge. Do, 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 do. And I'll bet we're in the actual main town of Tlaxcala. Somewhere in the central way. Let's see. Oh, that was actually the street we were on. Just picked us in the wrong spot to start. I like it. 20,682 points. Not awful. Guanauto is the one that did us in the most. And then Hidalgo kind of got us too. But you know what? That's the Mexican challenge right there. From Sagittarius. So we now have been to every Mexican state except for Aguascalientes, which is coming up in one of his world challenges. So if we ever figure out we're in Mexico, we know we're in Aguascalientes. Unless, of course, he was twisted and put more than one Mexican location, in which case, uh, mad props and... Now that I think more about it, that's probably exactly what happened. But regardless, at some point, we'll be in Aguas Calientes, and we'll be able to say we've been to every Mexican state. So thank you for sending that one in, Sagittarius. If you'd like to do this as well, you can. Very easy. Go to geoguesser.com, and when you're a pro member, you make your own challenges. You don't want to spend that little tiny amount of money every month. I understand it. You can go to geocitter.ml instead. Or if you'd rather spend the money on me, you can go to, uh, uh, you know, purplefrogplays.com and find out all the information about how to send me money on Patreon. But for now, we're going to call it here. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for sending this one in. I really did appreciate it. Hopefully you guys liked it, too. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.